Welcome to the Mono A Mono Show here on CKMS 102.7. Mono A Mono, what you just heard was some wet secrets. Before that, unknown because it was not quite tagged correctly and it didn't have an artist name. And in the background here, you're hearing some robot apocalypse. We've got an amazing Mono A Mono Show. Mono Amigos, thank you for tuning in. Um, the past couple weeks, we've been rebroadcasting the Robot Apocalypse series uh, that we did for the first Robot Apocalypse self-titled release and featuring all the people who have um, collaborated on the Robot Apocalypse 
uh, up until this date. So we, I, I was taking April or April, August kind of off. It feels like it's still April, um, August off, and uh, rebroadcasting that. I was set to come back today, and there are some amazing, amazing, amazing brand new releases. We're going to jump into one of them in just a second, and we're going to get to one in a little bit. But there's also been some crazy stuff going on, so I was almost wondering if I should not do this show. I, I feel like I should, because in all this, I feel like the next Rage Against the Machine is going to just end up coming out of this all this crazy social injustice that is going on right now. I was also thinking maybe in the background I'd be going through my social media instead if you're following along on the Radio Waterloo YouTube page or DJ Steel YouTube page. I usually have some psychedelics going on in the background. I was thinking maybe I'd have some social media. I still got to think that one out just because of privacy and stuff like that. I might still do it. I might not, though. Um, what we're going to jump into, though, we got so much stuff here. Uh, the first new release, way back when I was doing the show with DJ Adrock, um, we used to do the feature band of the week, weekly, when we would come in, and we would each grab... It didn't have to be necessarily new stuff, but a lot of the time it was new stuff for bands that were playing in the area. One of those bands that we featured was Jenny Mayhem. And uh, we featured back then, I can't think, I, I've got to look through my library here. I just got everything queued up. Um, she had another uh, set, uh, uh, or I guess group, and they had a song called Drinking Song. And we used to play that all the time. Uh, DJ uh, DJ Adrock was quite a fan of that one. So, uh, and me as well. Jenny Mayhem just released a whole, uh, I think it's an EP. It's somewhere in between an EP and an album. It's got, I would have to double check, but I think it's got about seven or eight tracks to it. We're going to get to a couple of them right here. We are. The album is called... Uh, Social Piranha. We're going to jump into the title track from that and also a track called Who's Gonna Love You? Right here, right now on CKMS 102.7. Mono a mono! It's the season I was 
I found that other Jenny Mayhem project. It was called Love Seed. I couldn't remember the name of it. Here it is, Drinking Song, the one I was talking about. Some amazing stuff. I didn't realize the first one was the intro track, just kind of an intro there. So we'll probably get to more at the end of the hour. Here is Love Seat right here on CKMS 102.7 Mono A Mono!
right, there it is. There's some pretend in the background. One of my favorite bands. I make sure to get into some pretend every week. Before that, you heard some Frankie and the Witch Finger, which is an album that DJ Jaffy Jeff uh, got me for something. I forget what he got it for me for. Um, we're gonna. There's still three minutes left. A song's worth of this pretend music. We're gonna. We're gonna listen to this. But I, what I want to mention is, I got a band coming up called Often the Thinker. And I was referred to them because I'm a huge Do Make Say Think fan. Do Make Say Think are probably one of my favorite Canadian bands. And someone said, well, if you like Do Make Say Think, check out Often the Thinker because a lot of people compare the two of them and say that they're very similar. I thought, sure, maybe. I checked it out. I've got two Often the Thinker albums. These have got to be the what I collect next because albums are so good it is like another do make say think album some of them are a little bit different but for the most part it is unbelievable how close they are and how awesome often the thinker is um i'm still getting used to the track title so i think i've got one that is a is a great track i'm gonna play it next it is for the most part, instrumental stuff. This is off their album, Better Part of Vice. I'm gonna go with quarter or half of greater or less. Coming up right after the end of this pretend music. And then we got some even more crazy stuff coming up. I'm gonna start queuing it up. I think we're gonna jump into some big milk. Uh, but what I wanna also get to is Smash Boom Pow, another favorite of mine is releasing some brand new stuff. I've got two of their new tracks coming up in just a little bit right here on Mono A Mono.
All right, Mono Amigos, there it was, some big milk right there on CKMS 102.7. Mono a mono! Before that, I played some Often the Thinker, and unbelievable how amazing that is and how similar it is to uh, Do Make Say Think. I, if you didn't tell me otherwise, I would think that um, that was just a, a different Do Make Say Think album. And what's amazing about that is uh, Do Make Say Think is a Canadian band. Often the Thinker is an American band. Um, so there are two bands from completely different areas that have this cool, real post-rock sound that with the horns and everything at the piano at the end unbelievable stuff uh one of my new favorites right there is often the thinker um big milk always a pick me up right there what we're gonna jump into you're hearing some robot apocalypse in the background now going back to the robot apocalypse collective uh, podcast that i have been airing for the past uh, couple weeks on a few tracks on the uh, Robot Apocalypse Pick Me Up track, as well as the Robot Apocalypse Chaotic Entrance track. Um, a musician by the name of Ulysses Coper uh, recorded some vocals for those two tracks. And uh, Ulysses Coper, I featured a whole bunch of his solo stuff and some music by his band Smash Boom Pow. Smash Boom Pow was an amazing band that we found out about when we were interviewing the uh, gay 90s. And uh, we were kind of asking them what the drummer, what his shirt meant. He had a Smash Boom Pow shirt. And so we were asking him because it was just, um, it didn't have all the letters. Kind of like how, um, I don't know, Ken, Kenny Bridge, kind of along those lines. So we were asking him what his shirt was about. And he told us about this band, Smash Boom Pow. So we checked it out. They've got amazing stuff. And what's super cool is, I don't know if Ulysses was away or something, like throughout this corona thing and was stuck somewhere. I, I don't know. He was away somewhere. The, the In Smash Boom Pow, it's two brothers. And normally they can record. But uh, Ulysses was away for a little bit. They're just getting back to recording some stuff. What's amazing is right here, I've got two brand new Smash Boom Pow tracks. One is called uh, Impatient, and the other is Prisoner. Here they are, coming up. The, the, this could be the Ontario debut there. That's how new these are, just released. Here is some Smash Boom Pow right here on CKMS 102.7 Mono a Mono!
Mono Amigos, there it was, some smash boom pow right there on CKMS 102.7, Mono A Mono! Um, now I see why they, um, coming out there was a clean version, which I opted not to do. I played that one right at 9 o'clock, which was good, because different rules apply after uh, 9 o'clock, so that the swear words are allowed. Darn good track. Uh, I, I apologize if some of the swear words threw you off there, though. There is a clean version. Maybe I'll air that one earlier next week. Uh, we're jump. I, I was speaking of do make say think. And in the background, while I'm talking here, I've got some Justin Small of do make say think with one of his own. He used to do like a daily uh, or maybe a weekly release, something like that. Um, anyways, this is one of those tracks called Divided Masculine right here in the background. But amazing Smash Boom Pow stuff right there. So those are the, I believe, the only two tracks released thus far um, off of hopefully an upcoming album. Uh, Smash Boom Pow does do lots of um, EP releases. They have one full album out and after that a bunch of EPs. So. Hopefully we're going to see another full album come out from those guys. Some amazing stuff right there. Um, yeah, so much coming up. I'm even going to get to some... I'm going to jump into, after this, some Giraffes Giraffes. Because what I've noticed is I went back and I listened to some of my old uh, podcasts right there on the Radio Waterloo YouTube. You can be watching there right now. You can be watching on the DJ Steel YouTube. Uh, the Waterloo one is actually CKMS 1027 FM Radio Waterloo, which is what the YouTube page is called. Or the DJ Steel YouTube. Or you can be listening on the FM dial or online at RadioWaterloo.ca. So many ways to pick up the Mono A Mono show and all the great shows on here. Anyways, as I was listening back, I noticed that I always talk for some reason, like how I have this Justin Small track on in the background here. I always talk during Giraffes Giraffes. For some reason, I don't know why. 
I always talk during Giraffe's Draft. So, I am going to not talk this time during Giraffe's Draft and let the song play out. Uh, I'm going to go into a track called Heretical Doses. Now, earlier on in the show, I was also talking about how so much social uh, injustice stuff is coming up on Facebook. I I was actually giving Facebook and and, uh, Instagram a break for a while. So if you follow the Monoway Mono page uh, on Instagram, which is at Mam Radio uh, or Monoway Mono uh, on Facebook, you'll notice that there haven't been too many posts. I just went on it recently, and maybe it's because I hadn't been on in a few weeks that it felt like a bombardment of just all these things, talking about the NBA, people disagreeing with them postponing shows, um, people disagreeing with these these new uh, police shootings. Like, I, I almost wanted to put social media up in the background instead of my psychedelics, just to, I don't know, I, 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 I couldn't believe some of the comments that some people would put on there. Um, it's baffling, but I didn't want to, because this show is so much about um, promoting the artists and the musicians, um, still thinking that through. I don't know. Uh, It it may be a bit too uh, dividing to people. I don't know. So I'm going to keep going with the music. I'm going to keep playing some great music. But I'm going to jump into, after we hear some giraffes, giraffes, um, a wax mannequin track that is called Someone Fix the Game. Uh, And maybe I'll jump into the price right after. Uh, Someone Fix the Game, which is all about uh, some privilege that people aren't even really aware, and he addresses it through that song. It's a really nice song. So, uh, again, it's by Wax Mannequin, who is a local Hamilton musician. We'll jump into a couple of his tracks every Friday. If you follow him on Facebook, he does a live concert almost every Friday. So, some awesome stuff. I would, you should follow him, especially after you hear his stuff coming up. And then, I'm going to jump into some Cursed Arrows, or Cursed Arrows. They had hinted online, I don't have a full song yet, but they had hinted on their uh, Facebook or Instagram, I don't know, one of the two of them, when I was on there, I saw it, that they are have a new some new tracks recorded and i just got a snippet of it and it sounds unbelievable so i'm gonna play one of uh their songs one of my favorites by them that i haven't played in a long time uh called close to the exit so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna we're gonna hear some draft draft some wax mana some mannequin some cursed arrows and then we're gonna jump into a whole bunch of other great towel rock Right here on the Mono A Mono Show, the mouthfeel, some bad guys win. Ooh, I'm going to move this up. Some audio boffins. Um, oh, I haven't played this in a long time. Let's move some unicorns up. Uh, let's move some at the drive-in up. Oh, boy. Lots of good stuff coming up. So stick around right here on Mono A Mono.
you know there's a lot more price to go Just there is much more price I've never paid the price like you have paid the price You paid the price, price As some there's a lot more price to come Just there is much more price to come To go Because your hands don't work. Because your words don't work. Give me your tired hands. Give me your weak words. I'll twist it up again. Call me when you figure she had to get that song out of your head or shoulder. Your antidote precedes your music. There's an empty grave somewhere. I'll still have all
unless it's dumb enough for everyone. Access screwdrivers forcing your hand. Put them down, cause you're not violent. Screaming at you till my chest hurts. Till we blast our worst. You want to be connected. But you stay close to the exit. Local band Mouthfeel with some Wang Out Humans' most important organ right here on CKMS 102.7. Mono a mono! We have some mouthfeel. A shout out right there to DJ Dylan Francis Claire. That is his band. I believe that is him on the distorted vocals there as well. In the background, we're jumping into some robot apocalypse. We've had some crazy stuff this episode of Mono A Mono. Um, we heard some brand new, brand, brand new Jenny Mayhem early on in the show. 
Um, that was some phenomenal stuff. That We featured her way, way back on the Mono A Mono Show. We, I even found Love Seat, played some drinking game. Um, we also then heard some brand, brand new Smash Boom Pow. Um, we got to some Wax Mannequin. I, I did a terrible job of addressing some uh, social injustice. I, I mean, I addressed it, but I didn't give yet my stance on it. And I was talking a little bit about, uh, well, actually, shout out right here to Natty Physicist who was listening and uh, pointed out that he quite enjoyed that Wax Mannequin track, Someone Fix the Game. Fantastic track. Um, I, I'm actually teaching social justice and social injustice um, in this upcoming school year. So it, it's been something that I've been noticing more and more and more. And with not being on um, not being on social media for the past month, I just assume that people, the general population gets it. Now, um, so I didn't really realize what was going on, on on social media until the NBA was postponed. I turned on, went to watch the Raptor game on Thursday, and all of a sudden the Raptor game wasn't on. So that's when I started to, to take notice. And some of these things, like, they say that uh, change isn't happening. And the, going back to that song, Someone Fix the Game, people like me, I, like, I'm, I'm not noticing. And, and that is a place of privilege. And I, I understand that. Uh, because when, when I went back online, and started looking through some of the comments on the NBA players postponing the playoffs. People were so angry at the players and telling them to, to just stop it and get back. You're being, you're, if other people are getting paid to, to work, you should just be uh, working as well. You're getting paid for it, so you better be. And, totally missing I couldn't believe the comments totally missing the uh, the, the whole stance behind what they're doing and the, with all the uh, Black Lives Matter uh, uh, postings on their shirts on the court like some of the um, uh, and people standing up for the police officers and things like that it to me it seems obvious uh, what should be happening and I don't know, I think some people, are, I don't know if they're afraid or what, um, but I, I felt like I, I said earlier in the program that I was going to let the music speak for uh, my, my, I feel like it's slightly political too, I was about to say my political views, um, but I, I, I'm going to say my social justice views, but I feel like... Uh, that might also be adding to the problem because what what I was thinking about as some of those songs were playing was how the NBA players were saying, sure, they're, the teams are allowing us to do this, but their managers and things like that aren't speaking up and saying that things need to change. And so as I was listening to those songs saying I was going to let the song speak for me, I thought, no, you know what? I should speak for myself, and I should say that things need to change as well. So, um, I wanted to jump in. I think that the only apocalypse that should be happening is the robot apocalypse that we're hearing in the background here that should be going uh, on. And things need to change, and... Uh, Black, I was putting on the site Black Lives Matter. I, I see that it's kind of come down on the Facebook page. I think that it should go back up. I, I'm probably going to see if I can get it back up there. And we're gonna we're gonna carry on. Hopefully, things do change here. Um, I know with this COVID and everything, it's kind of heightened people, and people are kind of ultra sensitive on the social medias. So I'm hoping that it's just that and people aren't missing the point of what's happening. Anyways, I'm going to jump into some more music here. Um, I, I feel like 
I can address it planned uh, when I have uh, set things I want to talk about if, uh, if I'm addressing social uh, injustices. But just off the cuff, I'm going to leave it at that. In the background, we're hearing some audio boffins. There was a brand new audio boffins release. If you go to Mono A Mono Radio, uh, uh, or if you type in Mono A Mono Radio Bandcamp, you will find it. Brand new audio boffins track. I'm going to jump into it. This is Rain God's Rainbow. And this one was actually performed at the CKMS COVID Fest. Then we're going to jump into some unicorns and whatever else we can get to in these next 20 minutes of the Mono and Mono Show before Discoteca takes over the airwaves. Right here on CKMS 102.7. Mono and Mono!
you know, there's people who are really, really heavily into the more satanic aspects of it and, uh, and the really more kind of violent aspects, which I'm not necessarily into. Um, want to get more details on that, call 1-800- Say, let's get known If we keep it up We'll show the haters It's gonna be soon, not later
Mono Amigos, there it is. I'm almost out of time right here on CKMS 102.7 Radio Waterloo. Coming up next, we got Discoteca. Um, what you just heard, if you love that last track, I it's such an interesting sound on that last track. That was 8-Inch Betsy with their song True North. Before that, we heard Rose Brokenshire with her track All Right. We're getting to some... Um, brand new releases right here. Brand, brand new releases. We're going to go even into another one called The Evergreen Standard in just about a minute here. And I'm going to get to a couple others that are newer release that um, I'm running out of time here so they... I, I'm gonna give a couple extra tracks for the um, online crowd, for the group who are listen, watching on the uh, the YouTube, on the Radio Waterloo YouTube, or on the DJ Steel YouTube, uh, because we've only got about three more minutes left on the FM before Discoteca hits the airwaves. Make sure to check them out. Uh, we hear some mouthfeel right here in the background. And I'm going to jump into it right now. We've, we've listened to some mouthfeel, so I don't feel bad doing this to uh, Dylan Francis Clare. I'll, I play mouthfeel every time I'm on the radio. So here is some evergreen standard with their track Rolling Down Your Plaid right here. Thanks for tuning in, Mono, Mono Amigos. I will be back every Saturday, 8 to 10, right here on CKMS 102.7. Radio Waterloo.
Thank you. 